Hello and welcome to our presentation of glucose management of the body. In this tutorial, we are going to see how glucose has been extracted from the food and then that is stored in the liver and uh, the blood glucose level is being sensed by pancreas cells and it helps to regulate the blood glucose level by two hormones called a glucogen and insulin and we are also going to see in this video how the homeostasis or a consistent glucose level is maintained in the blood the carbohydrate part of the food gets digested into monosaccharides like glucose fructose etc and 80 percent of them are generally glucose which are now present inside the small intestine now the process of sending this glucose from the small intestine to the bloodstream is also called the glucose absorption process the process of transport of glucose from the intestinal lumen into the absorptive cell has two stages in the first stage the sodium ion from inside the cells are transported to the intestinal fluid this leads to low sodium concentration inside the cell now in the second stage because the sodium level has dropped inside the cells sodium ions are transported from intestinal lumen by facilitated diffusion so it's a kind of protein that helps in the transport mechanism and what happens is this protein sends back the sodium back into the cells but now it drags along the glucose and that's how the glucose goes into the absorptive cells as the glucose is absorbed by absorption cells the blood glucose level increases and liver takes up this extra glucose and store them in the form of glycogen so what happens is as liver keeps on storing this glucose and removing the glucose from the bloodstream the glucose level in the bloodstream gets dropped and more amount once the uh, bloodstream glucose level drops liver uh, releases the glucose into the bloodstream now after some time again if the cells are not consuming as much glucose as has been released by liver the glucose level goes high in the blood this then triggers the uh, beta cells of pancreas which releases insulin so now we know that the excess glucose is stored as glycogen in the liver if we go inside the pancreas the pancreas has got this pancreatic vessels and there are different type of cell present inside the pancreas now when blood is carrying glucose it is being absorbed by all the body cells because every cell requires energy and the energy comes from glucose now as the cell keeps absorbing this energy the glucose level or the energy in the cells diminishes now the liver needs to be instructed to release the stored glucose which it is storing as glycogen so what happens the alpha cells that are present inside the pancreas they get released and they instruct the liver to release more amount of glucose into the blood cells so now the liver breaks down the stored glucose and releases into the bloodstream now if the other body cells are not absorbing it sufficiently then the blood glucose level increases in the bloodstream when pancreatic cell senses that the glucose level has increased in the body the beta cells present in the pancreas releases something called insulin 
insulin is a hormone that acts like a key every cell a human body has got the glucose transporter and the insulin receptor so the insulin released by the beta cells is being absorbed and is being uh, stored by this insulin receptor the moment insulin receptor receives insulin insulin triggers this uh, transporters to absorb the glucose into the cell in the case of diabetic what happens is uh, number one number of insulin uh, gets reduced the beta cells cannot produce the amount of insulin that is required to instruct the body cells to absorb this glucose so amount of glucose that floats around in the bloodstream uh, remains very high the blood glucose remains very high and the cell are resistant to absorb this glucose and removing this glucose from the bloodstream in diabetic what happens is the insulin reception capability of this cell reduces number of insulin may also reduce but the overall insulin reception capability of the cells uh, reduces so what happens is amount of insulin that comes and sits on this receptor reduces and therefore the amount of trigger that they generate to the cells to absorb the blood glucose reduces because of this reduction the amount of glucose that remains in the bloodstream are extremely high that raises the blood glucose level which is one of the characteristics of diabetic this video was brought to you by Aculilab Life Assist Revolutionary Electrovasculograph, the 9 in 1 electrophysiology come complete hemodynamic and vascular analysis device. If you want to know more about the device, you can always get in touch with me. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.